Frugal Force, once again, this is Captain Frugal reporting for duty, and today I know I'm talking about a topic that a lot of people are already addressing and things, but I just want to share my take on this, and this is the Mark Wade Legal Defense Fund, or as I like to call, the Kickstarter project for DNC's next book. <laughs> now for the, those of you that are not into this and, and don't understand what's going on, I'm just going to summarize it really quick here. Uh, diversity in comics rose by roasting bad comic books. He rose to fame by that as well as critiquing books and just really, you know, reviewing comic books. And, and during that time, sure, he said some things that were controversial. I'm not going to hide that in any way because he did and he knows that. Um, and, he, you know, let's be honest, it's words. Who cares, right? Uh, <laughs> but with that said, th some of the pros pretty much started a well, put up or shut up kind of thing. Well, why don't you do a book if you're so good, Richard Meyer? And they pushed him, pushed him. You know what? He did. So we got together and he acquired some talent, some amazing talent, and put together some books and started selling them. And guess what? They were doing phenomenally well. He did that on Indiegogo. And so I think what happened here is the pros, if you will, start getting scared that, oh my gosh, he put up and it's doing really well. So Mark Wade had to go out of his way then to interfere. So what he did is it was announced that Antarctic Press was going to be releasing the Jawbreaker series. That's what's going to get Jawbreakers print and in stores. And so pretty much what and I'm paraphrasing here, okay, from the information I've gathered is Mark Wade pretty much caught, contacted uh, the owner of Antarctic Press, as well as his workplace and everything else, and, and pretty much created some harassment. And, and at one point, you know, he, he did it as concern. I don't know if you know, but you're backing this bigot, blah, blah, blah. You know, completely slanderous. And, and I think what really happened here from what I've done in research is pretty much made it a statement of, if you go through with this, we're going to make it hard for you. In other words, we're going to make it hard for you to, we're going to talk to comic shops and things like that to make them so they don't carry your books and stuff. In other words, we're going to put your business in a bad spot. And so an Arctic Press made the, the hard decision to say, okay, this, this isn't a battle we can afford to fight or want to fight. And they decided not to do that, so the contract was then gone. What this did is it made, in other words, is Mark Wade interfered with a contract, a legal contract here, to get it to be stopped. He did something that was not legal. Now he turns around and get, ends up getting sued then by DNC, rightfully. I think this is going to be a pretty slam dunk case. And so Mark Wade starts a legal defense fund to protect him. But here's the thing. If you read the wording on it too, it's very big misdirection of what the truth is in this. So here, let's just put the put up front. Mark Wade says put up or shut up. DNC puts up, wins. And so then he has to try to stop him, Mark Wade does. Then when he gets busted for doing something he shouldn't have done, he then gets sued and then says, oh, I'm the victim here. <laughs> so let's see how this fund is doing. It hasn't been up long. In 18 hours, it's up to $24,877 of the $75,000 goal, which is the initial amount listed in this case. But this case could go six figures, could go less. It could go anywhere. You never know what a judge is going to do. So it was created on October 25th of 2018. And then as you see here, it, it's, you know, 24,000, almost 25,000 of the 75,000. So it's a third of the way there. And of course, you got to use this picture. Make some, you know, he's got to look so, so heroic here. So let's, let's le read into this, okay? My name is Mark Wade. I'm a New York Times best-selling comics writer. Then if you thought that was, you know, if that was so good, why don't you have any money to pay your legal defense? You know, I uh, as I've been telling people, that number, that seventy-five thousand, is my opinion. I think this is all bullcrap by him. I think that's the number he's hoping to settle for because he doesn't really want this to go to court. If at least from what I've seen, I think his lawyer pretty much is, you know, this is not going to go good for you. So I think they're preparing for a settlement. He wants to get that money to settle, but he doesn't want to pay it. He wants you to pay it. He wants the people to help him and pay it because. Well, wait a minute, why would you pay anything if he went out of his way to hurt business and, and attack somebody? Oh, that's right, you've got to twist it around and make yourself the hero. Because remember, Mark Wade thinks he's the hero because he must protect the weak, right? But really, he's pretty much the mentally weak. So let's go back to this. 
in September of this year, I was sued by one of the perceived leaders of a relentless online harassment movement called Comicsgate. What I suggest is go to Twitter, type in Comicsgate, and see the tweets that you see. Is there some harsh ones? Absolutely on occasion there is. But you're going to see Comicsgate is more of promotional of good comics and spraying the word of good comics in art and story. So once again, there's a misconne- disconnection there. Okay, so anyway, called Comicsgate, which I and many comics professionals strongly feel. There's another thing. Feel. I'm sorry. Feel is not fact. Okay, there, there's one thing right there. When you can't prove anything, I feel is the way you have to do it. You have to appeal to emotion, and that's what he's trying to do here because he doesn't have any facts to support his But Matter of fact, all the facts are looking bad. Remember, this is a guy, you know, that pushes for people to cause harm to somebody because he doesn't agree with them. But yet, he's protecting the weak. And we're going to get back to that in a little bit. Strongly feel as unfairly and offensively targeted women, people of color, and LGBTQ plus creators work in the industry in an effort to make them feel unwelcome. Well, you know, once again, this is trying to get you to appeal to emotion without any facts. If you actually know anything about DNC, um, maybe ask him about his children. Um, they're not white <laughs> necessarily. They're minorities. This has no water. This has this has can hold no water here. This is completely bullcrap. I suggest that you check out his videos for yourself. You'll see he does sometimes say something a little harsh and things like that, but it's not harassment. Heck, these comic book pros have harassed me more than he's ever harassed them. You can read more about some perspectives on Comicsgate and its harassment techniques in the Washington Post and on Inverse. Yeah, in selected, targeting, biased articles. Yeah, what I recommend is get a bigger foundation. Do the research yourself. You're going to see a lot of these are nothing but shills for Marvel and, and things to, and for these writers and things to get their message across. Once again, I firmly believe who cares what you believe, Mark Wade? You're a liar. He's a, he's a liar. He's been caught. So be careful. The snake will tell you what he wants. I firmly believe this lawsuit is an effort to silence those of us who stand up publicly against bigotry and racism and who continue to defend diverse creators from harassment. No, this lawsuit has nothing to do with that. Look up the lawsuit. Does this lawsuit have anything that says against those? No, this lawsuit is because Mark Wade interfered with business, told lies, and was slanderous, and was caught. Once again, this is a complete fabrication from Mark Wade. You can learn more. It says, even though I'm confident... The, that the claims made against me are entirely without merit. If they were, why is he asking you for money? Think about that. Lawsuits are time-consuming and very expensive. Yeah, he could recoup these costs. He could go after and countersuit if he needed to. So this is bullcrap. He knows he's losing here. Still, I have never... Now, here, once again, is the big twist. Remember, he is getting sued for get, interfering with business. I have never backed down from bullies, especially those who, dele- who denigrate my friends, colleagues, and the values of our com- that our community stands for. And while I am not a rich man, you have my solemn promise that I will fight this fight no matter the personal cost. No, I will fight this fight with your money is what he's saying. I need your money to fight this fight because I started something, I got caught, and I'm going to have to pay a lot of money. This lawsuit does have merit. Yeah, it could be very expensive. But I love how he never backs down from bullies. He is the bully. He's working for the big comic companies that sits there and shuns anybody else that has the slightest disagreement with him. If you don't think he's a bully, look at his online harassing behavior and speech. If you disagree with him politically, he calls you all kinds of harsh things. If you have any disagreements with him, he is a harsh-worded man that has issues, clearly. Look up the stories about him and people, what they've said about him and told about him and how his behavior is at work. This is not a level-headed guy. (laughs) Once again, Mark Wade believes in that he has to protect the weak, right? Well, who's the weak here? If if you were so weak, why is he asking you for your money? Shouldn't he be protecting you and sheltering you from this cost? 
hmm, this this stinks. I'm sorry, but if it looks like a turd, smells like a turd, you don't need to taste this thing. This is a turd. This is a lie. I mean, if he's protecting the little guy so much, how come he went to Antarctic Press and Alterna Comics? Hmm, everything he says is debunked and easily a lie. But here it is. But I'm going to need your help. And here, here's where it gets, you know, it gets really deep. <laughs> if you believe, as I do, that women and people of color deserve to be able to do their jobs or any job without being bullied, donate. Stand with me. If you believe that someone's gender or sexual preference should have no bearing on their career they pursue, donate. Send that message. Once again, this case has nothing to do with that. Nice try. Why doesn't he put, if you believe in somebody that they can interfere with business, harass, and slander you so you could stop their business and livelihood, stand for me. Oh, because that doesn't sound as good. Instead, the very people he swears to protect he's begging for money from because he doesn't want to pay his own bill for his own mistake that he knows he's caught. My guess is, and I, can, I don't have any proof and guarantee of this, but from what I've seen and things, I think he's trying to get you to pay for his settlement cost because he doesn't want this to go to court. He's hoping to get enough money to settle and probably pocket a few bucks. Hey, DNC, will you settle for $50,000 in a hush-hush agreement so nobody will know? Because then I can walk out with you know a couple grand, too, in my pocket. Or at least cover the fees so he doesn't take the bite. And then he goes on even farther. This isn't just about me. Yes, it is. Once again, there. read the court case. He is a liar. It's about standing together in the face of bullying. Well, then, what's stand against bullying with Mark Wade, then? Because Mark Wade is constantly bullied. Don't you have to be the one in power to be the bully? Hmm. Every day that we don't push back against online harassment, it only becomes nastier and more powerful. Yeah, he should know because he's one of the biggest online harassers there is. And when he gets called out and busted really good, he takes a brief time out from online, from social media, because he got busted and makes them disappear. This is an important fight. Thank you for having my back. No, Mark Wade, we don't have your back. You did this, and then you begged for money. So let's read some of these comments here. This is hilarious. Everyone who hates DNC will end up paying him. They're donating to a guy they hate through Mark Wade. This is rich irony. You know, Frank, I think you're right on the point there. I donated because it's the only right thing to do. Good luck. Fingers crossed for a resounding victory and thus sending a very clear message. Once again, Dean... Thanks for giving DNC a check. Dylan says, keep fighting the good fight, man. Let me give you some money. I wonder how many of these people gave money to, to the fund. We'll have to look, too. Very happy to donate a small amount for this particular cause. What cause was that? Oh, that's right. The one Mark Wade lied to you about. Okay, once again, this is completely ridiculous. Uh, Shaggy says, using your celebrity and connections to ruin someone else's business deal is not free speech. No one has the right to stop you from making a living, regardless of how you may feel about how they feel about you. Some of you are extremely misguided to stand with this person. But go ahead. Give this guy your money like he needs it. He's going to lose this one. I agree with Shaggy 100%. Dean says, Mark Wade has been one of my favorite comic writers for over 20 years. I have a couple of encounters with him at conventions, and he's an extremely humble and generous person when you are handing him money. That part, last part, when you're handing him money, I added. Of course he is to your face, because he's a coward. Jeez, old Pete, he only does this stuff behind the scenes and tries to rally other people to do it. That's what he's been doing. All right, so let's look at where some of the money here is was coming from, okay? Anonymous, $10. Dean, okay, Dean put up his money there. Another anonymous, 100 Okay, Brian Cronin, $50. Another 10 anonymous. Travis Manchester, 10 I, You know, I, I have nothing against people who do anonymous. I do anonymous myself. But let's see who else has put in money here. Okay, a lot of 20s, 10s. Thanks, people, for giving DNC some money here. Uh, Philip Risen, $20. Okay, so he's getting money here. Oh, look at this. $100 from Anonymous. Okay, there we go. 2000 Anonymous. Oh, there's some big bucks. I wonder which comic artist or writer did that. Well, it might be probably not because they probably can't afford it. Uh, you know, they don't pay that great, right? Evidently, uh, otherwise, Mark Wade wouldn't need to be begging you for money. Uh, <laughs> so you see here a lot of people are giving to this. I feel sorry for all these people. Actually, I laugh at them a little bit for not doing their research. If they did their research, they'd see this is not what he claimed it was about at all. Look at that. 
Uh, I heard Dan Slott was in here for 500. Of course Dan Slott is because he's probably afraid he'll be on the chopping block too because he's just as bad for this kind of crap. Well, almost as bad. Not as bad as Mark Wade. Oh, look at that Timothy Doyle. Mm, no, there's no personal bias there. No. Hmm. Better go sell some more artwork that he doesn't have the rights to so we can get that money. <laughs> yeah, look him up too. He's a, he's a real piece of work. Okay, so ultimately here we are. So the question I have is for you guys is, do you think Mark Wade will hit that $75,000 goal? The beginning of a fund like this is usually the big point and the end. The middle usually ramps down a little bit. So it'll be interesting to see how this goes. And my point is, once again, thank you, everybody, for contributing to DNC to help him pay for his legal cost of stopping a guy that tried to get in the way of his right to earn a living and make up a false story to make it not about him and what his evil crappy actions were, but about protecting people. Because once again, Mark Wade in his own eyes is the hero, even though he is really the villain. All right, so what are your thoughts on this? I look forward to hearing it. But before I jump into that, I want to say one quick couple things too. If you enjoy this video, please be sure to hit like and subscribe. Hit that notifications bell. But I also want to show you something else here. If you are interested, don't forget that I do have a Patreon that you can contribute to for as little as a dollar a month where you'll get special patron-only videos on occasion. And I do random giveaways on occasion too. And we would greatly appreciate that. Also, if you want to take more of a takeaway, something that you can have, there is now, you can go to captainfrugal.redbubble.com and there is official Captain Frugal merchandise that you can get. And look at this, you can see there, there's going to be all kinds of great artwork you can pick. You can have mugs, you can have cell phone covers, you can have it on shirts. You just pick the picture of the one you're wanting, like, hey, Frugal wants you. <laughs> Okay, and so I have some there more of uh, the hard looking and more of the soft looking one. And as you see, there you can get that on all kinds of things t shirts, laptop covers, phone skins, all kinds of things, even a clock. Which I'm thinking that clock, I might have to get the clock myself, pillows, all of that. So, hey, you can sleep with frugal. <laughs> Don't tell my wife. No, just kidding. She, I told her that same joke and she didn't think it was funny. But you can help support us that way too by supporting us by getting some frugal products not only be spreading the word for us you'll be contributing because the money i'm using to that is going back in the site to help the videos increase and get better as well as my comic book and i have some other things coming up too some big plans that i'm not going to release yet it's still in the works behind the scenes it's going to be bigger than just me and all this is going to help do that so once again thank you for watching thank you for your time until next time keep